Welcome to a one-of-a-kind initiative by Establish Art today. It's called Bring Me to Life. And this is that happening live at FOAID 2020. 2020, the year which we will have to consider for a long, long time in our uh, lives. Uh, I'm Arzan Kambata, and as I was introduced, I'm a sculptor by choice, an architect by profession. And we've planned a very unique session today. We've got two architects and two artists with us, Anand Menon and Ajay Patil from the architects team, so to speak. And we've got Kanak Nanda and Suvigya Sharma from the artist team. Uh, it's not a competition, it's just for fun, but this is the way it is. So what we have planned is that after a little talk and a chat, uh, we'll come up with a subject and ask each of them to do a quick sketch of what they sort of feel like after they hear the name of the subject. The subject we could discuss with the audience and then come up with something impromptu, something interesting, something quirky. Okay, so let's basically go through the rounds and call each one to the chat room as we speak. Okay, and number one also, all the sketches that are done over here will be put up on the Establish Art website for you to have a look for a long, long time. Let me first start with the architect today. Anand Menon. Anand Menon is a partner in AD&D and KD&D Studios, which has been successfully churning up projects since the past 20 years. He loves sketching, like any architect from that age. Today, people are more on the computer and all that, but I can exactly know where he's coming from. He now pursues painting over weekends. And very interestingly, I've been told, he calls his art practice AMMA, A-M-M-A. So coming from AD&D and KD&D, and he calls his works AMMA, uh, obviously he loves abbreviations a lot. And I want to know why, W-I-T, that is why is this? Anand, why do you call your works AMMA? Uh, so it's a very funny story uh, because uh, obviously AM are also my initials, right, of my name. And uh, art as I see it is a reflection of life. Uh, and which is why AM gets mirrored as MA. So okay. that kind of deviation in itself. And uh, I also believe that uh, I, I, I believe that I'm here because of my mother and I'm a South Indian. So Amma also is uh, a dedication Super. to my mother. Wonderful. So wonderful. Yeah. Excellent. I love it. It's a wonderful, wonderful uh, sort of uh, uh, name to call your art. I mean, your blessings will be constant on you. You know, uh, uh, second in line. As I call it. She's my brand ambassador. <laughs> of course, of course. Always, always. Uh, second, yeah. let's call on to the chat room, Ajay Patil. Ajay Patil is the architect, prime and principal architect of Prima Fashi. Ajay Patil has completed a strikingly wide range of work, residential, retail, cultural, hospitality. He used to paint. He used to paint, but of course, being an architect, and I think the client pressure must have been too much, so he gave it up. <laughs> not good, not good. Keep on painting. You always have to keep on painting. And yeah. of course, the lockdown lockdown gave me an opportunity to get back to it. This lockdown has been an opportunity for all of us, I think, to sort of pursue our passions, which we lost somewhere or the other. And Ajay, why painting? How did this happen? Like people ask me why sculpture. I'm asking you why painting? See, uh, the, uh, the simple thing, a picture paints a thousand words. You know, and I've always been passionate about art. Anytime I would travel for work, I'd always stay back two days, visit a museum. It so happened that on March, the first week of March, I was in Italy just before the lockdown. And then I flew into Paris and I was in Paris for a while. And when I came back and the, and everything hit the ceiling, I decided now what, I was at the museums. So I picked up about a few canvases and brought them home and said, I'll dabble in it. And then one thing led to another and here I am today. <laughs> You know, it's been great. I used to do murals once upon a time, but I, it's just been a part of my, uh, it's a revolution to me as well. And I'm loving it. True, true, super. So I mean, it's, it's a superb thing. And, and I'm just wondering if the lockdown hadn't happened, probably those canvases would still be untouched. Yeah. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so now coming to the artist side, we have someone with us here, Kanak Nanda. Kanak Nanda is a wall muralist a designer and a psychologist. Uh, she found her calling eight years back when she started painting walls. She has apparently painted 85 walls till now and she's still counting. Uh, she has painted for restaurants, cafes, residences, and now 
she's going to teach you today to paint your own wall so to speak okay let's see how that goes she also painted for many live festivals that is interesting because i find doing art live is a it gives you a different kind of uh, feel uh, she's done stuff live at the sula fest at the ballad estate festival at the gvk international airport and her artwork was a part of the biggest fan event by marvel for avengers endgame at each and every artist is a psychologist by nature. We think, we paint. Sometimes we don't think and paint comes out on paper any which way. A whole list of food which comes to order. I think I should uh, stop cooking. Anyway, I don't cook, but just call. Anyway, so so coming to the fun part of today, and I'm, I'm not that we're not having fun right now, but coming to the fun part of today, it was decided that each of you all would do a sketch. Okay, or just a quick sketch on something that's in your mind. We haven't decided the topic. So I come to the audience, if the audience is listening, and if you can message us a few topics that you would like our participants to sketch. Uh, it's not a competition, okay? So don't worry. And uh, Suvigya, it's okay if you draw minute. It's all right. I'll come closer to the screen and have a look. Don't worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> any, 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 any topics from your side? If the audience is not chipping in, I don't know if they are. Uh, any idea of a topic? Any good idea of a topic from you all? Any of you all? Can I? Any awesome. idea? Okay, okay, okay. I say, how about something like, something like what? Perception. Out of the box. Perception, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very wide, but nice. Would... Perception. Any, any, anyone from the audience wants to chip in? Perception is okay? Let's okay. Let's do one thing. Let's do one. Let's start with perception. Let's start with perception. This is not a drawing exam. This is not your architectural yeah. submission. So don't worry. <laughs> Just take five ten minutes. And the thing is, I told uh, I'm supposed to watch you all draw. I'm not only going to watch you all draw. I can't stay away. I'm also going to draw today. Just to get sort of get in on board with you all. Okay. So in between. If you have a camera and if I tell you to just point your camera towards your drawing even midway, let's do that. And while you're, while you're doing this, just one thing came to my mind. Uh, if you can think of a lyric of a song which you think describes your best moment during the lockdown, let me know. Any title of a song, just interesting. Think about it. Think about it. So can we start? So the topic is perception and let's just go. Let's go. So can I, you're doing it directly on the wall. Um, yeah. Ajay, 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 you're doing it on a canvas? On the paper. Yeah, good enough, good enough. Go ahead, go ahead. So Vigya, you can start. Paper. Yeah. You can start. No paper. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 go ahead, go ahead. You can keep talking while you're drawing, huh? don't keep quiet. Anything that comes to mind. So, so um, okay. huh, tell me, Kanak. An idea from what you were saying uh, about the blue skies and about, I mean, you know, the changing sunsets and stuff. So, I'm taking that as my um, place to begin with. Okay, okay, super. Uh, for me, perception is like something that is uh, how you perceive a thought. Nothing, uh, yeah. nothing in particular. Perception is just a uh, inbuilt sense for me. That's what, that's what I'm trying to figure True, out. true. Yeah. Something abstract. Yeah. While we're just I'll just tell you. Have the audience. Sorry? Because we can't figure that out. We can't figure it out. We can. Okay, Any, yes, anyone, uh, anyone from the technical team can tell us about the audience and what their views are, whether they want to ask any questions to us at this point.
so just just to uh, let you know about what I just going in a little more detail about what I did. So it's quite interesting. So I, I'm I'm in the touch with this NGO who I work for. Quite a few NGOs, but there was this NGO called the Jaiwaki School, uh, which deals with special children. And during the lockdown, I think anyone who's a parent knows that it's so difficult to sort of manage your children when they're there 24/7 in the house. And when you're dealing of uh, children with uh, special capabilities and all that, it becomes ten times more difficult. So what they did was they launched YouTube channels on how to teach their children while they were at home. So I, I, they, they reached out to me, and I managed to do about 580 illustrations for them for the YouTube channel. So that was quite interesting. That's so great. they would send me stories. They would send me stories and what they would uh, want their parents to learn to teach their children. And so that was very interesting because it was like some were dealing with serious disabilities, some were uh, play things and all that. And just to sort of convey that in terms of visuals, it was quite, quite good. It was a learning curve for me as well, you know. That's great. Can I, are all your pieces directly on the wall or sometimes you do use large canvases also? I don't do a lot of canvases. I prefer painting directly okay. on the wall. Okay. I have this okay. Wall. Okay. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, Ajay, you were asking something. Swiggy, are you comfortable? Yes, I am. Okay. Like you said, impromptu, just... So, so uh, Ajay, I, I last year I had the opportunity of doing a fundraiser for them, for the Jai Vakil School. Okay, so I used yeah. to keep going there to the school, and so so I was I was quite closely in touch with the children also. Okay, and what happened was that uh, uh, I'll I'll tell you what I did. So I made about hundred sculptures. Okay. I made 100 sculptures out of fiberglass and I called about 85 artists from all over India and few from abroad to do their renditions on them. Okay, so sort of paint them. I'll, I'll share some images of you uh, of this later on the group. And what we what happened was, that's what I mean, it was the first time I did a fundraiser myself and each and every piece got sold. Each and every piece, you know. So, so that was a good thing. And since I was in close touch with the children and understood a little bit, they said, why don't you do the illustrations for us? You know, so that's how it started. You. It's coming out very well. The cadmium yellow is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> uh, Ajay is doing a very detailed sketch, huh? Ajay. But sorry, uh, Ajay also and Anand also, both of you. Yeah, I, I see the blues coming out very well. Kanak, nice, very good. Have we done? Oh, you can keep going. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. Okay, let us go when to stop. <laughs> okay, sure. Can go I'm seeing what everyone's doing. <laughs> you know, what? especially in this, the idea to understand when to stop is the most important. Oh, totally. I totally agree with you. And I, I have my own take on that. You know, so it's like where people say to a common person who doesn't know about art, let's say, or to the general public, an abstract is very easy. An abstract is very easy because you can do whatever you want. So that is the yeah. um, uh, conception of uh, abstract. Now, in terms yeah. of figurative, they say it's very difficult because you have to go exactly as per the norms. To an artist, if you see, if you go exactly by the norms in a in an figurative, you know when to stop because your figure is done and done. If you, after your figure is done, you can't add wings and horns to it if you want a realistic work, you know. So exactly. in an abstract, in an abstract, it is absolutely imperative to know when to stop. You can keep going on and on and on and on. And that's something within you. Uh, over a period of time tells you when to stop the enough. You know, this is it, literally. Yeah. 
so when i so when i was conducting my classes uh, all through the lockdown i've taken a break now so everyone had the camera on their face some of them had it on the paper so i used to tell them no keep it on your face because i can uh, get a lot more information of what you're doing after seeing your face than was than seeing the paper <laughs> the face itself would suggest sort of what they would be doing you know it's good fun ajay let's have a look All, all these works yeah oh there it is are they close can you get it closer to the camera ajay oh nice one second can hold it up like Oh no! Okay, now I can see it. Super. Is it clear now? From what I from what I can see, you you bonded the earth, isn't it? Something like that. Yeah. I I bonded a general idea. Like I said, perception is not yeah uh, is not something you can define. It's a sense. True. True. So in that. And it is yet it is so different. Definite when you can perceive something, you can get so definite. True. But Perception in itself is a sense. It's so unique. Mm. Agree. Agree. It so is what you see. The whole idea of having, uh, and you have, yeah, and you have a knife, and you have seven billion people on this planet who will look at something and perceive seven hundred and seven hundred billion ways. Of course, definitely. Perception Correct. is something which you know. Yeah. While it is so general, Correct. it is yet so unique in its uh, true uh, in its definition. That's what true. I try to bring out here. Good. You know, mm. Where everyone has their own sense of perception. Yes. But yes. So general, and it's it's a very unique thought. Correct. True. True. So that's what true. I try. To. Super. It reminds me of the story of the elephant and the five blind men, isn't it? When each of them went to a separate yeah. part of the elephant and sort of uh, uh, visualized what they saw and told each one what they saw. <laughs> Let's come to Anand. Anand, yes. let's have a look. Let's have a look. I need to. Can I still busy so I won't disturb her? No, I think I'm done. <laughs> okay, I'll come to you after Anand. Oh, nice Anand. Wow. Okay, Anand, so, is that my mustache by any chance? I was inspired by a mustache. Please, can I finish it? Yes, please finish it. I'll come to Kanak in the meantime. I'll go to Kanak in the meantime. Sure. Can I let's have a look? Huh. Uh, you want me to get it closer? Ah, uh, better. Yes, better. Little closer. Okay, so done. Oh, that's it. Nice. Okay. Got it. So little further away. Little I've further. Huh. Yeah. Thank you. What I've done is basically, uh, like the storm, like the sea, there is always a calm and there is always chaos. Yeah. So I've created. I've used dark colors to show basically uh, the chaos that we go through. And like okay. the silver lining, I've done some gold to okay. to show the fact that there are some days which may not be as we have planned. Correct. But there's always something better coming out of it. Of course. Good. Super. A very positive sort of a feeling. <laughs> very nice. Excellent. I can imagine that. I'm sure you've restricted the size right now because of the time, but yeah. I can imagine that large. You know, if you blow that up, it literally would be wonderful because then you, I think, you'd be absorbed within the what you've created. You know, absolutely. Yeah. Good, good. Suvigya, are you ready? I won't give you minus points for not completing. Suvigya, <laughs> An Anand is ready. Yeah, nearly. So coming to uh, uh, Ajay, yeah. In the yeah. Uh, what I want to ask is when you're painting, uh, yeah. When you're painting, what are your topics like? Uh, is it just something which flows into a family of works, or is it something completely random? Yeah. And how, how does that work for you? It's it's been in bursts where I've had spells yeah. of trying one kind of thing, and then it's been another kind of thing. So over the period of the last six months, I've done about eighty paintings. I've just been painting. Oh, wow. I've just okay. 
Okay. All my clothes, okay. everything. I I had to go out for a meeting after six months. Mm. I mm-hmm. go and buy clothes because I couldn't go for a meeting. All my clothes were full of pain. <laughs> oh, okay. It's been, it's been, this, huh. this has been my latest kind of. Uh, oh wow. Nice. It's been a, nice. it's been an obsession of black and white with me, and a lot of Good. people are like, "Yeah, uh, yeah." Why are you doing black? Black. Mm-hmm. I, I'm like, well, I'm painting for myself. I'm not painting. Correct. For of course. Art. Of course. Art of course. Is, art is such a, art is such a, fine edge. Why True. you're painting for yourself? It all depends on the viewer. And I have people Correct. come to my office for meetings, and everybody mm-hmm. who walks in. Is hmm. looking at uh, looking at what I painted and giving me their perception hmm. of it again. I'm saying percept. Correct. Yeah, yeah, of course. While he's explaining the same thing, I'm hmm. I'm I'm reading him. You know? Yeah, yeah. It, Correct. Of course. Such a bounce yes. off. Yes, yes. It's been True. a it's True. been a great it's been a great part. Correct. And so while Correct. I've done I I studied Pollock. Hmm. I studied Pollock in depth. Okay. Day. Okay. Oh wow, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Super. Yeah, we did a course out of MoMA, uh, the MoMA Museum of Modern Art in New York. Yep. 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 And Super. I mean that guy is phenomenal in the idea of where he started and where he ended. Correct. You Correct. Know, that True. transition, True. that transition mm. of a personality yep. has been just Correct. Super. Brilliant. Super. Okay. I think Anand's ready. I think Anand is ready. Yeah. Anand is yeah. ready. Come on, Anand. Yeah. Okay, so uh, maybe I should turn it this way. It will be easier to explain. So, so basically, I was looking at the world as it stands today, and as I just said about perception, and we are living in this pre-COVID and getting into the post-COVID zone. So, uh, where one of the eyes is kind of closed and it kind of in a meditative state, you know what was happening to our mind, uh, this yeah. kind of turmoil, this kind of chaotic. Correct. Uh, correct. And I think how as we are going towards this zone, uh, there's seeing some more clarity. Life getting back yes. into back on. Yes. Say. Correct. Uh, correct. The open, eye, the open eye represents us becoming more aware about the world around us. Correct. The mustache is undoubtedly inspired by your mustache. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Uh, I've learned that you always need to keep a smile on your face going forward. Uh, stay true, happy. True. That's all that matters eventually. Correct. Uh, Agree. This is the the famous uh, iconic sign for the COVID virus. True. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and yeah. how that you know has played in our minds. Uh, importantly, I think COVID has taught us that we need to have a bigger heart. So the radiating lines. As they move out Wonderful. on either side, shows your beating heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That we going forward. Super and wonderful. Most importantly, I think um, I bring to the table my love for nature. Uh, you know, the trees, the birds, as I like to see it, and and mm. a little girl sitting on a swing uh, that is oh, wow. hanging from uh, yeah. Arzan's mustache. <laughs> so, <laughs> Uh, that mustache, so, I'm sure, is made of steel. At yeah, yeah, of course, hundred <laughs> percent. No, <laughs> by now. Uh, uh. And I forget to mention, but this is, is the famous mask that we have been wearing. Okay, all okay, along. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. I'm glad my mustache is throwing th- uh, through the mask also. And <laughs> you, the mustache being iron, the amount of years I've been working with iron, I think some iron filing must have gone and made it stronger already, even without me knowing. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, Swedia, are you done? Can we have a look? No minus points. Okay. <laughs> so, I was. <laughs> sorry? <laughs> Let's see. Little closer, Swedia. Oh, nice. Okay. He is basically enjoying himself. Whatever is happening around the world, he doesn't give a damn, isn't it? Yeah. So my basic idea, what I, for the lock, for me, the lockdown has been, uh, like I say, more more of time for me as an artist to kind of, uh, uh, kind of you know, create something uh, like. And I have been spending a lot of time on my things I really wanted to. So I want to do photography and I want to do music and I could not uh, pursue that like you know more as a practice. So I have been doing a lot of stargazing. So that's what that's what I was. Yeah. So like like I say that uh, 
uh, it is much more a beautiful world but i actually it has been very very busy lately in terms of professionally when i say so at this time there was a lot of exploration what you did like self exploring in terms of your opportunities at work and what can you create and you know it was more meditation like that super so i'm just of trying course. to create that into a into not work yeah just to yeah. give you an idea i did something small there you go mm -hmm. you see that the little fellow opening out why the so good at car gates is like so good man <laughs> so is that the, the world the world is locked up and of course the brains more active sort of pulling in everything that you that throws at him and then of course transferring yeah. to the hand i think that's what i've been doing all of the lockdown <laughs> well, so so uh, let's go back to everyone yeah mm -hmm. sorry i'll be more easing around the lockdown like you know oh yes of course of Doing course i think self, everyone yeah. is, everyone is like like yeah. ajay said it's uh, mm -hmm. finding yourself you keep on hearing Absolutely. people tell you to search for yourself and all that where the hell do you start yeah. so basically uh, the lockdown helped us to negate so many things which we were doing and we got left with ourselves and our absolute exactly. near and dear ones and i think that's what triggered the creative process more the 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 human more you know we sort of became more human i think and we felt more and we sort of realized and our perception grew about everything you know true that so that's it that's it so uh, from the from the directions that i've got you mm -hmm. know what we've also we actually completed today's session so to speak so mm -hmm. it's wonderful i mean yeah. i just a quick word to uh kanak i was going to come to you and ask you like i asked ajay uh your wall works that you do the the murals that you paint on the walls do you follow a theme or are they completely uh go by where you're painting and what is to deal uh, what it deals with does it work that way yeah so usually i talk to the clients i see what they have in mind then i look at the space and i think that there are certain things that work well with within that space whether it's a color combination with the theme and then i create the design so it's a Correct. lot of it's a thought process and i have to talk to the clients to understand what they want and then take it from there i can totally understand you you actually describe exactly the way i work 98% of my works are commission pieces this is exactly how i work to understand the client to what yeah. it's about the space and everything and me being an architect i sort of go a step forward you know so the it's like so so there's one thing when i when i was i was i had the opportunity ages back once to talk to an architect called nari gandhi if you heard of him of course i'm sure you so nari gandhi used to be an architect who was more yeah. an artist than an architect and he he would he would be like for him see to me art and architecture both uh, sculpture and architecture both are 3d artworks uh, 3d art forms but it's culture i can make a sculpture and say i like it i don't care who else doesn't like it but when you're doing an architecture project for a client you can't do that 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 user component comes in and then you have to of course go back and forth you know it's there yeah. it's perfectly okay you you work within mm -hmm. those realms that are set by the architect and all that you know and to me i mean i mean, i'm sure to to subhig here to anand ajay all of you uh people say when you're doing a commission project aren't you bound by that space aren't you bound nonsense you within that space within that eh? there are hundreds and millions yeah. of ideas mm -hmm. you can get you know so why not you know so one word of uh, advice to all of you as if i i sort of uh, what i'm saying is what i wanted to say is besides your work keep creating like ajay said he found he stopped painting and suddenly started painting keep doing that it's mm. it's so wonderful to let an outlet like that and being architects i think we have to have to sort of have an outlet where you do whatever the hell you want to counter the part where the client said nahi mereko darwaza idhar hi chahiye you say i am doing this painting i am going to do it exactly like this <laughs> <laughs> so that that's the reason i stopped uh, i minimized my architect uh, architectural practice i just did one project 3 years back mostly i'm into my sculptures and all that and i think it's been wonderful talking to all of you i'm not just saying this it's a superb session i think we all had a lot of fun and yeah. so thank you thank you everyone and all yeah. the best to all of you